Let's take a look at the learning goal. What's the goal? For the goal getter. Meredith works. Meredith works. I can investigate. I can investigate. How magnets can attract. How magnets can attract. Magnetic materials. Magnetic materials. And attract. And attract. And repel. And repel. Other magnets. Other magnets. So what are we doing? What is the purpose of our learning goal here? Yes, birthday boy. Very good. And what does attract mean? What does it mean to attract? Yes, John? To pull together. To pull together. And he remembers repel. Uh, I'm going to go with Hayden over here. To push apart or push away. So with our learning goal, investigate. How do we investigate? What do we have to do? Mr. Brennan? Ooh, I love how you said hypothesis like it's a scientific method. We do that pretty much every day, don't we? There's always a scientific method that we're working on. So today what you're going to be doing is investigating magnets, part of our learning goal. So if you go ahead and take a look at your um, magnet investigations, I'm going to go ahead and start over here with station one, which is right over here in this bucket. So go ahead, flip your... Uh, book to station one it says what's the attraction test all the objects with your magnet write down at least five objects that are attracted to the magnet and five objects that are not attracted to the magnet so inside here you've got a lot of materials I have the magnets in a bag okay so that way they can I'll, I'll take them out and put them right next to here but there's all you've got balloons you've got a sponge you've got spoons there's also you've got a um, a, a garden shovel, you know, just experiment and see, you've got some, this is steel wool, you're going to take your magnet and see, is the magnet attracted to it or not? And then you're going to write that object down on the paper. Pretty easy center right here, self-explanatory. Any questions for station one? Moving right along here, I'll be my little Vanna White, to station two. And it says, through thick and Test of the magnet can attract a paper clip through a variety of materials. Record your results in the table below. So it says yes or no. Again, here's your little magnets. So I'll take those out. So what you're going to do is there, there are a bag of paper clips, and I'll take those out too as well. So I'll demonstrate what's going to happen. So let's just say I've got a magnet here, and I've got a balloon. I'm going to put the balloon on my hand. Where the paper will go? It's magic. So, can the paper clip, obviously we know that that is magnetic, can that go through the balloon? Yes. Yes. You can try both poles. Remember we are talking about the poles, the north and south pole? Does it work on both poles, north and south? It does. So that one you know, does it work? You can write a balloon? Yes, it does. So I'll go ahead and put these materials back here. And you've got, you've got some cardboard, you've got some plates, you've got some, um, what do you call this? Foam, thank you, foam. Uh, I put some tissues, I put, I put all sorts of goodies in here. Cardboard, you just see what works, what thickness here goes. Questions? Can you use our desk? Yes, you can use your desk as well. Try the desk out, see if that works. Try putting the paper clip underneath the desk. All right. Super. And moving right along, we have station three. So let's look. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Thank you very much for paying attention. Say, I forgot I put one over here. Do you have a question about station two? Yeah. If you do the, your desk, wouldn't it, shouldn't you put the computer and listen down here? Because the um, magnet can obviously just sit over here. Yeah. Yeah, you can, you're going to have an experiment. You're going to investigate, see what happens. You might try it a couple different ways. You can do that. All right, station three. Flip your little papers here. It says magnet train. Can I get a choo-choo? <laughs> All right, it says line up three bar magnets to create a magnet train. 
Line up the magnets so you can pull them around like a train. And take your train on a ride on your desk. Draw a picture of your magnet train and label the poles of each magnet. Underline that, please. Because when you're, dra when you're drawing your train, it's very important to know which poles are attracted with your train. So as you draw your picture, that's what you're going to do. Questions here on station three. Yes, Mr. Shifflett. Um, uh, how do you exactly get it to work? You're going to investigate. That's your job. It'll be fine. If you have questions along the way, you come see me. But I think once you start um, experimenting, you'll you'll figure it out. Yes. For this one? No, there's no paper clips for this one. Just magnets. Oh, okay. Well, there might be something similar in another station. Yes, sir. How many magnets? It says line up three. But if you want to do more, you can go ahead and do more. All right, station four. Floating magnets. This is over at station four. It says stack four ring magnets on a pencil so that none of the magnets are touching. Draw a picture of your pencil and magnets and label the poles. Well, these little guys have very tiny holes, as you can see, so a pencil wouldn't go through them. So what I did is I went out into our little yard and I got sticks and I found sticks that worked. You'll see that they are labeled north and south, the poles. When you start putting your magnets on here, See what happens. See if you can keep them floating. There's four. There's four magnets. So you're gonna have to take turns. Um, that those are the only magnets we have. Yeah, the other circular ones. But that's fine. So there's not a lot of people here anyway, so we're good. All right. Questions on station four. Yes, sir. If they're not attracted to each other, what are they doing? Repelling. repelling. So you need to get them on the stick to make them repel. Oh. So you got to figure out which way that goes and then draw your picture. Labeling the poles. Very important to label the poles. Right, so that's all. Good? All right. On to station five here. It says, use paper clips to discover which was oh, called strong, stronger, strongest. Use paper clips to discover which part of the magnet is the strongest. Link your paper clips together and see how many paper clips the poles can hold and how many paper clips the center of your magnet can hold. So in here, there are two U-shaped magnets. So you're gonna see the south pole, north pole, maybe on the on the, the bottom side here. See how many you how many paper clips you can hold with this magnet question here and you'll see at the top it says how blank paper clips so try the at the bottom of the u and then here if you're looking at the north and south poles how many did that side hold so you're going to try both ways questions and i only i have two magnets in this one bless you station six will be over here and it says build a compass it says stroke the paper clip 20 times in the same direction to turn it into a magnet and place the magnet, the paper clip, on the floating object in the water. As it floats, watch your paper clip slowly point to the north. You have created your own compass. So right here I have my little um, styrofoam that just gently floats on there. I have several magnets in here that you can try and you're straightening out paper clips already. So again, stroke it 20 times. They're going to place on the water. I had a compass in here, but it's demagnetized. It doesn't work anymore. So who knows which direction is north from here where we are? Anybody? Can you point to which way is north? This way. This way is north. Okay? So you want to see if the paper clip's going to point this way after you stroke it and magnetize the magnet. 
So to the back of the classroom. Questions over here. Any questions for our centers? All right, does everybody have a pencil in hand? Let me see your pencil in hand. What's the next page? Oh, thank you, Matthew. I'm so sorry, I forgot. I'm silly. There's one more page. It says, learning summary. Describe what you have learned during today's magnet stations. What surprised you? What was interesting? What do you want to learn more about? So after we go through all, all of our stations, we may or may not have to time to finish them all today, but I have this set up for a two-day um, experiment, experimental lab. If we finish ahead of time, great. If we don't, it's all good, because we've got the time built in before we go on for spring break. So, with that being said, I will go ahead and count you off, and that will be where you're going to start, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. So, whatever number I called you, go ahead and start at that rotation, please. I love how you guys got to go quietly and you're moving to your station. Great job. Oh, yes, and be very careful. Uh, side note, real quick, everybody, listen up. In this bag, there's a note that says iron filings. Do not open. Just try through the bag. So leave this in the bag. It's iron. All right, so go ahead. Remember to write down your... Excuse me, what do we need to do first here? Open up. Very good. Can you tell me? It's got a straighter. Alright, write it down. Yeah, well, there's a lot of sections.
this is good, this is good. Everything's back away. You guys are ready. Please put everything back. 
So if you're at station three, you're going to four, four to five, five to six, six to one, one to two.
Well, it's a different view, so different kind of thickness.
what do you notice?